You guys gotta check out the place that I'm fishing today. It is an incredible small stream in New Jersey. It just has something special about it. This spot is awesome. Alright, I'm back, standing on the side of the small stream where I caught my first ever wild brown trout. The rod's tucked away because, check this out, I was just sitting here on the rock kind of enjoying looking at the stream. And come over here and we have a little mini net that I could use to catch whatever's in here. Somebody left it here, someone was exploring the stream. And I am now deciding to use this net and go around, I'm going to try to catch my own bait and catch a fish on whatever I can catch. So whether that be a little bug, a tiny crawdad, a bait fish, this net is gonna now serve as the bait catcher. Oh my gosh, there's some minnows over here. Look at these things. Oh, I got one, I got one. Oh my gosh, okay. So you can see in the net, literally first drop in the creek, got a little nano bait fish. I'm gonna try to catch one, I'm gonna release this guy and try to catch one that's slightly bigger. You can see we got a lot of options for bait, little critter right here, like a caterpillar looking thing, inchworm, got an ant. There is a ton of life. Like Now I'm starting to really realize what the trout are feeding on in this creek. So for the bait fish, you wanna find areas in the creek that are really slow moving, where the, the, the fish are out of the target range of the trout. The trout wouldn't be going up in here, so chances are we got some bait fish. Oh, yep, yep, yep. We do, we do actually, I think. Do we? <sighs> Blind net swipe in there, nothing. Nothing. <gasps> that was a baby crawdad. Okay, I'm spotting so many different options for bait in here. So I found a little toad, but I'm not gonna use him for bait. He's lucky I'm not bass fishing. <laughs> that was funny. It's crazy, the second you look for bait, you realize just how much more life is out here than what you think. And when I'm fishing, all I'm thinking about is the fish. But you gotta think about what the fish are feeding on too and everything in the ecosystem because it all works together. I'm going a bit more off the beaten path over here to this mini creek. I think that if I can find an area where the bait fish or whatever bait I'm catching is more condensed, I'll be able to catch it easier in this net. Oh my gosh. Should be, should be pretty instant in here. This is like a little micro ecosystem that should be filled with bait. This is how the creek sustains itself. Oh yeah, we found we found the pool right up here. This is where I'm gonna catch the first bait fish of the day, no doubt about it. Okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Frog. Your bait. Actually, wait, okay, so I caught this miniature frog. I was gonna use him for bait. But I think it's a little unethical. And then right next to him, I got a big old worm. So I think we're actually gonna use this. I think it should get the same amount of bites. We'll put it in the net for show. Caught this bait in the net. <laughs> All right, let's get the tackle box out. See what we could rig this worm up on. I think I got something in here. And just so you know, I wasn't expecting on catching a worm. It just kind of presented itself to me. I was hoping more so to catch a bait fish or something of that sort. So I got a little size six eagle claw hook. And that's all I'm gonna use to throw this worm out here. And there's something special about catching a fish on a bait that you caught yourself. So the way that I rig a worm up on a hook is you pretty much just thread it through and keep on feeding the sharp part of the hook all the way through the worm. Oh my gosh, this one is completely shitty on me. All the way through, kind of like this, so you can feed it up the hook and the hook is coming out about midway to the lower part of the worm. We got the night crawler successfully rigged up. All right, so now last step of the adventure right now catch a fish on the worm that we just caught in the environment out here. This is literally what the fish are feeding on. It should not take long to get a bite. Oh, that was a bite. That wasn't a trout. Right now the trout are in the current because the creek is low. The water temperatures are pretty high. I'm just going to work upstream to a couple different pools and try to make this happen. Very curious how this is going to catch trout compared to earlier in the day I was throwing a jerk bait that represented a bait fish. Now let's see, oh, 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 a nice trout just came out of it. That was probably a 12 inch fish, which is pretty big for this creek. Just got a hit, oh. So I saw a fish come out for it, but it didn't just take the worm, which is quite surprising. 
All right, so there was a fish in that pool. It came for the worm, but it didn't commit. I don't know why. This, this is looking like a juicy worm that the fish should want to hit. Oh, oh, trout, trout, trout. There's a trout in the current right here. There's a trout that just came for it. Completely smoked, it got him. No, he's off. See, that's how you know a trout bit the worm because it completely demolished it. I'm gonna take one more cast, see if he just wants a piece of the worm because I don't wanna waste the entire other half and get it bit off. When the fish see a live bait coming down the creek, they kind of don't hesitate for the most part. Aside from that first fish. <laughs> so I can't say that for certain, but. All right, so I'm traveling upstream a little bit. I need to find a new pool to try my luck with the worm. <clears throat> oh, there are a bunch of bait fish in this little hole right here. Incredible. So if I do need more bait, I can always come back here. This adventure is cool because it's putting me in a true natural environment that's out here. I have to work with what I found and I was just led to this worm. I was hoping to find a bait fish, but it just, I mean, it, it, the opportunity couldn't have presented itself better. And now I think that the fish gods are leading us to a trout that's about to bite this thing. Now, where will the trout come out of to eat this thing? Maybe even just right in this little pocket. Oh, oh, fish on, fish on, fish on. Is that a trout? Let's go. I got him on the worm. I mean, not really that crazy of an accomplishment to catch a trout on a worm, but to catch it on a worm that I found, incredible, incredible catch. So appreciated. There he goes. Back on his way. Ah, so the chain of events right there. Found a little net when I was just like sitting on the creek, enjoying just looking at the flows going by. And, I was finishing off a nice day trout fishing with an artificial lure and I saw the net and I was like, I need to now take this net, catch my own bait and catch a trout on whatever bait I catch. And at first I was looking for bait fish. I went over and I was trying to net in the creek and I looked behind myself, I see a teeny tiny frog jump around. I was like, oh, catch a trout on a frog could be pretty cool. But then right under the frog, because I didn't really want to use a frog for bait. It was like a little cute guy. I saw a worm and I was like, what? Like, what are the chances? I don't even have to flip a log or anything. Just there's a worm crawling right next to the frog. Threw that on, on the line. I'll oh, check out that butterfly, it's awesome. And there you have it, first trout on the bait that I caught myself out here. It's cool to kind of feel connected to the environment out here, be a part of it and work with what you have out in nature. And that's kind of what I live for in fishing. So that was a cool little side adventure of the day. And um, yeah, if I have a little more time, I only have like 30 minutes to do this. I have like 15 more minutes to fish. So I might, maybe catch a bait fish and try to catch a trout on a bait fish if I can manage that. But until next time, keep on getting out there, keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where you are. Small stream, live bait, artificial, finding your own bait, buying a lure online, whatever it takes. Just get out into your zone. Even if it's not fishing, just do what you love. See you guys in the next one. What, that is incredible. I walk out of the spot. I just stumbled upon a little baby snapping turtle. He's gonna get shy. Look at this thing. He's just chilling here. I'm gonna put him a little closer to probably where he wants to go to so nobody steps on him on the trail. That's super cool though. What a cool find out here. There he goes.